Here we go. Let's escape these sewers. We'll try and do this stealth properly this time. Well then again, I did try to do it properly last time, but it was quite difficult. The gods had eyes in the back of their heads. Run, baby. Ah, if you snooze, you lose, mate. You're getting caught. I'm not. Right, we'll put the torch out. And I got caught by this guy. I managed to beat them last time. But if you take on more than one guard, you get beat because you haven't got enough HP. Okay, let's just chill for a bit. Here we go. See ya. Nice. Next one. It's a shame we can't actually go at the same time. Right, so I'll just wait for this guy to come back here. Eehee! <laughs> Shamona! Come on, God. Got places to go, people to see. See ya. Keep up okay. Mate, I'm a stealth assassin legend. <clears throat> was this the right thing to do? Yes, it was. Whoosh. We can get across that bridge, go on ahead and check it out. Am I going solo? Yes, I am. These guys don't give up, do they? Seriously? Say yes. <laughs> As if we're going to survive that. Then again, we're, we're not wearing armor, so it'll be easy for us to swim. But those guards were wearing armor, so they'll just drown. You okay? Looks like we shook the guards at least. We did. And that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. Hmm. Don't speak too soon. We haven't had much luck so far. Then again, we'll have escaped the dungeon, so maybe Lady Luck is on our side. Question mark. It doesn't even know where we are. Oh, it's a save point, baby. Um, I'll just save over this one. Right, that's it. See ya. Ha oh. ha!
Oh, that is not good. Is that a giant rat? It's a bloody dragon. Wait. Oh shit, the bed. It's not friendly. If we stand and fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, I agree. Looks like Charizard. Run! Run, bitch! Run! Oh, and sprint. Nah, maybe not. We might have to stay and fight here. But don't get moving my dead meat run. Oh, did you see the acceleration on my guy there? This guy is... A, what the hell is that? Oh, there's little... Oh, there's loads of creatures running away from the dragon as well. I cannot wait till we get to come back here and kill the dragon. You know what's going to happen. Dragons lay in the Heliodosaurs. Too close for comfort. What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. I wonder if it's the castle's pet. Or if there just happens to be a dragon living underneath the castle. Uh-oh. It's coming through. Oh shit. No respite. Ah, me and my big mouth. Move now. <laughs> Looks like our luck finally ran out. Dead end. Yes. Oh, nothing worse. We're gonna have to jump into that lake. No way back, huh? I'll stay and fight. If they catch us, we're dead meat. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. I don't have much choice. 
corner, strike them down with lightning. Come on, let's not do anything stupid now. Oh, who is this? The name's Eric, by the way. Eric. <laughs> Awesome. Eric, my brother. Hopefully we've got him in the party now. Is he is he like our new mate? I got a new friend. Best friend. Who the hell is this? That's not Gemma, is it? Oh, there he is. So this must be the true start of the game, that's why it's showing us the, the opening credits. Eric. Looks like we're going to have some excellent boss battles. Looks like we're going to meet quite, quite a few characters who we can have in the party as well. Boosh. I can't wait to go there. That tree looks stunning. By the power of Greyskull! It's a dragon. Oh, the tree of dragon, is it? Dragon Quest 11, I'm all about this game. Record your activities in the adventure log. Yes. So this is where the story, so maybe all of that, what we've done previously is just all the tutorial. And this is the main game now. Train and wheels are off. Wake up, lazy bones. Come on, up you get. Finally. I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. Had to drag you all the way here on my own. But what a jump it was. I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. <laughs> in fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. Anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. What type of accent does that guy have? 
a hero hounded awarded for making a daring escape from the dungeons. Oh, so you must just get, for completing certain parts of the game, you just get little awards. Well, how about a thank? The Nun by smashing all of our pots. Is that her? Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, there you are, my children. I trust that your friend here is fully recovered. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just fine. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. Not at all, dear. I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. Oh, I'll take them down. I will strike them down with my two-handed blade. Criminals, you say? Dear me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were in Heliodor. I did indeed, my child. There were guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. Oh, they're talking about us, man. <laughs> and I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone. The village the fugitives came from. Hmm, so we can't go back there. <laughs> or maybe we can. Oh, but you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. They will soon be caught, I am sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Thanks, we appreciate that. going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss, right? Certainly. Right, where are we now? We're at the foothills. So I don't think this is going to be a big town. Cobblestone, eh? Never heard of the place. I never even knew anyone actually lived in those mountains down south. Is that really where you're from? It is. I'm guessing you want to go see what's happening down there. But you need to be smart. You won't get past Hendrik unnoticed. If you're going to make it there without getting caught, you'll need to avoid the main road. And if you want to do that, you'll need my help. I know every back road there is to know in these parts. But I've got things to take care of in Heliodor first. I left a little something in one of my old haunts downtown, and I need to get it back. So, are you coming along for the ride? I did help you break out of that dungeon, remember? I'll give him a hand, yeah. He's a bro. That's the spirit. But we can't have you bringing us any unwanted attention. Ah, I've got just the thing. Here, put this huh. on and keep your face hidden. Otherwise, you're going to get nabbed as soon as you set foot in Heliodor. Oh, nice. So you, you can actually use costumes in this game. Awesome. <laughs> That's more like it. If you're going to be a wanted man, you might as well look the part. Right. Let's head north and hit town. Glad you're coming along. The seer told me to stick with the luminary when I found him, and that's just what I'm going to do. Eric and Scott join forces. Brothers in arms. So he's going to be the thief, isn't he? Like a little rogue type guy. Sneak your tax.
Pep Powers. A pep power is an incredible ability that can be performed by two or more party members when at least one of them is pepped up. Select pep powers from the menu when it appears to see what exciting abilities you can unleash. Depending on the tactics each character has set, they'll either perform powers automatically or await your orders. Take a look at the traveler's tips to learn more. Okay. Look! Look at that's amazing, look at the shadow on the ground. It actually coincides with the shadow the, the clouds in the sky. Oh, the detail is out of this world. Right, where's my horse? And where am I going? You there! So that blue-haired chap with you was called Eric, is he? Well, he looks like he knows how to handle himself. You could have picked the worst travelling companion, that's for certain. Now tell me something, have you heard of pep powers? I have. Basically they're what happens when spells and abilities are mixed together in various combinations and believe me they're well worth learning. I can say I've piqued your interest. Let me think, ah, of course. I've got just the one for you to try. I'm pretty sure that if you and your friend Eric put your minds to it you'll be able to master a little cracker down as the real decoy. Team up, try it on a hapless monster. You'll soon see how incredible it is. What do you say, fancy giving it a try? Okay, yes. One word of warning, this pep power won't work unless the people performing it are pepped up. Okay. What does that mean? I hear you ask. When you're in battle and monsters are attacking you and suddenly you find that you're fully focused and ready for anything, that should be enough to get you there. Right. So just perform that and then get back to her, okay. I need a horse. Is there a horse down here? What the hell? Actually climbed on the well. Was this a good idea? Or the chest? A pointy hat. Oh, that's amazing. Well, they're amazing. Eric is currently carrying this item. Would you like to transfer it to Scott? Oh, that's what Eric's... Okay, okay, okay. I get you. I get you. I'll give Eric... A bandana. Oh, he's got a boomerang. Bloody hell, that dagger's really good. Oh, there's multiple paths. Oh, I love loot. I just love it. Oh, a handy hide. Right, that's enough of that. I've got no idea how to get the horse back. Right, let's try the pep on this weird green creature. A bodkin archer. Oh, it's fucking hit us in the face, little shit. 
Boosh. Ten experience point. That's that's quite good. They're worth a lot. But let's look at this. Look, look at this airy fairy thing. Is it a cabbage or a radish? It's a flying radish. You need to kill this cat thing. Bang. In the back of your feet. It's him. Um, what's the Pokemon? The the duck Pokemon. It looks like that. A platy punk. See ya. Oh, they can call in reinforcements, can they? No anymore, you can't. Dead. Oh, it's not dead. Huh. Easy. What do we get? A new weapon. Oh, I didn't... Leather. Was that a leather... Leather armor? Leather hat. Not as good, but maybe it's good for him. Yeah, it is. These guys drop quite a bit of XP. Oh, we're getting to fight a, a flying radish. I'm frozen. No! Psyduck. That's what the Pokemon's called. Psy... The dust. Yeah, all they do. Let the one bite the dust down. Oh, we need, we're going to look at the map, can't we, and find the, the spark leaves. Where am I now? I'm right next to one. These things are going to see me if I'm not fast. Oh, well, I want to get me pep on. I'm taking a lot of HP damage. I should probably check. I should probably take these off auto Easy. and see if there's a um, one of us has got a healing spell. What's that? Where's the... Head through the Heliodorian foothills to downtown Heliodor. Oh, well, we're, we're there now, so that's good. I like the classic camera on battle mode. Oh, awesome, we're in a new little town. Well, actually, it's quite a big town. We're built around a castle. Well, the castle's built, built around us. Welcome to downtown Heliodor, home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favourite kinds of people. Sounds just like my type of place. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, managed to... Uh, Acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions, the Red Orb. They got wise and pulled me in eventually, but not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. What happened to your partner? Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. Me and Dirk buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. Where criminal genius is, I tell you. Time to go liberate that loot to the garbage pile. 
It's gonna be good. I bet you someone's cleaned it away. There's a board in there. Right, let's pick up all the side quests. Welcome to the downtown Iliador. A grimy little secret the posh folks over the wall don't want you to know about. You ain't from around here. Well, if you ain't got no reason to stick around, I wouldn't bother. What's that? You looking for the dump? Well, you're right up our town of rubbish. There's a great pile of it right there in the middle. Okay. Oh, well, there's a save point. Actually, wait, I want to see if healing cost anything. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can only remove poison or, or curses. Right, okay, let's take a save on the go anyway. See ya. It looks like we're built in the in the castle's moat. Yeah, we'll go. Is this it? This is the spot. Keep a lookout, okay? I'm going to grab the loot. Now, it was around here somewhere. Your partner's took it a bet. It's definitely here. I'm a thousand percent sure. Uh, it's not here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Me and Dirk were the only ones who knew where it was. Dirk stabbed you in the back. That's why it's called Dirk. Wait a minute. That rat. He must have done the dirty on me and taken it for himself. Ooh, dirty rat. Damn it. I should have known! A thieving little... Wait till I get my hands on it! I'm gonna find him. And you're gonna help me. Okay. The inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on, it's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. Gotcha. Is this not the most visually crisp game you've ever seen in your life? It's such an assault on the eyes and I love it. Like a sexual assault. Not like a bad one. That, <laughs> what are you saying? Like a sexual assault, not like <laughs> a bad one. I mean like a good sexual assault. Is there a good sexual assault? I'm not sure. Maybe if you want it there is. Right, what's it called? That's not in English. Ruby's in. hasn't changed a bit. Back in our thieving days, Dirk and me used to lay low here whenever things got hairy. Ruby? Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you. Ruby runs the place. Looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her. Which means we'll have to go find her. Looks like we'll have to. So here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for Ruby. I'll check a couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. Oh, nice. But well, I'm a professional redhead spotter, so this is going to be dead easy. Started to a ring a ring of roses around the bottom of the ladder for style. Get out of here. Go on. 
Hmm, I wonder what he's got. Ah, bribery. I wonder if they're letting him into the upper town. Damn! Oh, aye, mate, I feel you, bro. <laughs> oh, there's Ruby. She's been through there. Can we slide down? Yes, we can. Oh my god, we're gonna slide. Hold on, B. Uh, can't find Ruby anywhere. How about you? Any luck? Well, she's not exactly incon fucking spicuous, is she? You saw her heading back to the inn? Great! Let's head over there and find out what she knows. Oh, the gods, eh? So maybe we can ask that sexy girl to to move the guard, or we can get befriend this dog. Are we dog? Nice one, bullseye. That great big coward of a guard nearly wet himself. Wait, well, yeah, that kid just fucking tell us to fuck off. The door is locked tight. Oh, there's a chest in there. We need the key. Alright, Ruby Pet. Well, if it isn't my favorite landlady. Welcome to our apple. <gasps> Strike a light! If it ain't me favorite little tea leaf! Last I heard, they locked you up and thrown away the key. You've gone and escaped, ain't ya? You and your friend here are the fugitives everyone's talking about. Well, I know not to stick me big nose in where it ain't wanted. <laughs> you always did like to sail close to the wind. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Raking in the cash he is, or so they say. So we're gonna to have to get into the castle. Or up by the castle. Uh, that can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where will we find the money? By selling a red orb? Wait a second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb. In this part of town, you don't go asking too many questions, you know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your head. Uh, that no-good traitor! I'll bet he sold me out and sold the ore. And also, he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. <sighs> yep, that's where we're going. To get past that sentry, if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Right, I'm on sexy lady watch. Bugs is that like? Wait, isn't he? Hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Maybe we can borrow one of somebody. There's a little shit of a kid over there. I'm just gonna steal his dog. I got this, son. I got it. Give us your dog or I'll crush your face. Nice one, bullseye. That grip. Oh, we've already said this. You what? You want to borrow me dog? You're having a giraffe, ain't ya? Look, I've got no time for this. Go and sling your hoop. This little kid's got balls, like. 
he's a lone wolf like me, you don't like, don't want to take kindly to strangers. You know what, some old water on a buzz boy too might change his mind. Tree berries. Go out of town, down the walkway thing and straight on. Big tree, funny berries on it. Bosh. Bosh! The little kids said bosh. The little kids are eating my books. Bish bash bosh. And as for holy water, well that's easy. Buy it from a shop. And remember I didn't say holy water or buzzberries. I want them both, otherwise no deal. Bloody hell, kid drives a hard bargain. But right, let's go out the shop. Well that's an armor shop, I'm not gonna get it from there, am I? Oh there was a shop right at the entrance, wasn't there? Oh here's a shop. You stopped me not being much to look at, but it's quality that counts. Osh is not very well. Can we help her? Twenty gold. Fucking rob blind. And who's going to carry it? I am. Right, that's all I need. Can I help you? Can I give you some healing potions? Right, so we're going out to the tree for some berries. Big tree. He said out of here, down the thing. Down the thing. And there's a big tree in front of us. That one there. Them, I wonder what these ghost things are, I can't it? I can't interact with them yet, that's strange. Right, where's this big ass tree? Unless it's that one there. Do you think it's this one? It looks like it's got berries on it. Oh, I've already picked them up. Haven't I? I think I've... I think that was them sparkly things I picked up when I when I was on the way here. Right, we'll go and check to see if we've got them. How are man? Just give us the dog for free. It loves biting shit. Hey, Fido, you love biting gods, don't you? Grr. Go on then. Bite his ass. You there. I've already got them, man. Give the buzzberries and holy water. I see already... Oh, it's a girl. I thought it was a boy. Called as a mug. The kid called as a mug. You map it. Now the monsters are still clear while you're playing outside town. Oh, that was nice of the child. It's protected the dog. Bullseye looks after me and I look after him. Anyway, a promise is a promise. Easy a bit, look after him alright. Oh, this is a new party member. Go play with a nice man for a bit. Because we did have a dog before, didn't we? At the start of the game, it was Gemma's dog. Dan, bite the man. Come again and bite the man. Whatever it is you need him for, make it quick, alright? Dog's me only family. Alright, so I guess we're not going to have it. Is it following us? Oh, it is! Go on. Bite this motherfucker. Halt! This gate leads to the nice part of town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. In other words, you. Riff Raff. <laughs> what do you think about this dog? Ah! No, no, not a 
d d d dog anything but that. <laughs> Get him. Worked like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. Sounds like a plan. Right, Dirk, you little shit. I want my cut. It's not even my cut, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Right, we're in Heliodor now. And we are wanted men. Have I got... Oh, we can talk, aren't we? You know, I've been thinking... We we'll finally made it to the classy part of town. Let's see if we can't find Dirk shop over by the castle. We've got to watch our backs. Yeah, we're not fully healed. Okay. I wonder if it's wise to heal up. Nah, I'm gonna risk it for a chocolate biscuit because I'm. I like living life on the edge. Oh, the the whole game is so grand and vast. There's a book called The Soldier and the Strategist. A tale of two heroes. Scott takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. No matter how ferocious an assault the monsters may launch against Heliodor, this great kingdom shall not fall. For two heroic figures will stand in the path of any attacker. The first is Sir Hendrik. A warrior without equal, countless times he has ridden the colossal black steed obsidian fearlessly into the heart of an oncoming assault, scattering the enemy like so many leaves. A chivalrous to a fault, and considered by many as the greatest so blah 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 Alright, fair enough. You found the book about two great heroes of Heliodor. You should go and tell the tourist who was looking for it. Oh, that's that book, is it? Where the hell was the tourist? Oh, he was just outside of the, the, the castle. He wasn't allowed in, wasn't he? Alright, well, that's handy. Let's see if I can rob upstairs. I am here for your valuables. Nothing else. Alright, mate. Probably shouldn't wake him up for trying to... This guy is sound asleep. I'm just smashing his house up. <laughs> Oh shit, he's a big fella, isn't he? A magazine entitled Down and Out in Downtown Heliodor. Da -da 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 -da. The land this court occupies once served as a defensive trench. Very interesting. Phenomenal. Great book. 10 out of 10. Would read again. Right. Let's find Dirk Shaw. Zoom. You think it's that pink thing there? What's the... Aha! The soldier and the strategist. So that's a. F so purple ones must be ones that are. So these are the ones that are underway, so I need to head right and get that new one, that pink one here. Locked. Is this locked? No, it's not. There's nobody in there. Oh, wait, there look, there's a cupboard. She, she was like, that's private. I'm like, too late, I've just robbed you. Aha. What's that? You're looking for a shop run by someone called Dirk? Hmm, I've got a feeling there's somebody by that name who lives in a big mansion by the castle. If you're heading up to that part of town, take my advice and use the rope up to the roof of his house. 
you'll be there much quicker. You need to be able to jump to get up there. You can do that by pressing B. Aha, so that's a bit of a hint. Okay, so I think that'll be in the same place as the kid that's stuck on the roof. So we'll head there now. Um, it's just around here. That's them. Right, so we're looking for a, ro a rope. Nothing. I have already robbed this place. Spot as guide to monsters. Scott takes it from the shell. Da -da 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 -da. Monsters roam the land at night are far more fierce than those appear during the day. That's good. It's a bit like uh, Dragon's Dogma. I love Dragon's Dogma. That was that was an amazing game that came out of nowhere. I remember. I remember like. Like a week before its release, when I saw what it was, just the absolute hype train was amazing, and I really liked the game. Right, I'm not seeing where this bloody rope is. I don't even know if this is the right place. How the hell? Is it even on that roof? The reward for completing this quest is Kitty Litter. Well, that's uh, just, just phenomenal. I've got no idea how to get on top of that roof, so that cat can go fuck itself. Fuck yourself. I found the book, go on. Well, I never fancy that. I feel a lot closer to my heroes and I feel a lot safer knowing they're around to protect Heliodor. Thank you so much for enlightening me. I may not have met them, but this is the next best, best thing. Here's a little something. A Drazilian shilling. Was that worth a lot? Complete. Don't seem to get any XP for quests, just loot. Right. We're looking for a building with a rope. Oh, maybe I can get on the rooftops. The Chronicles of Corporal Crag. Blah, 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 blah. Is there anything? Do you get anything for reading books? Like, is there a point? I found a cat. Me and Mr. Cat are playing. Is this not that girl's cat? Have you stole this cat? Oh, Dirk shops over there, man. It's marked on the bloody map. Wait, how let's get a Dirk shop. I wonder if it's... Hold up, Scott. The gods aren't going to let us pass, so we'll need to find another way to Dirk shop. So we're going to have to get on the rooftops. There. I can see a rope there. If we can get across that, so I need to get on this roof. I hope we can go to the top of the church, do you think? Right, 
Right, we're not getting to the top of the church fight from inside. Aha! Right, so when you get on to oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Right, when you get on, yeah, this roof. If we just follow, there we go. We found it. Oh my god, this guy that we talked to was looking at the bloody thing. <laughs> what a dick! What a dick! Right, maybe we'll find the cut up here. There's a chest over there. Right, how about let's go across. We're going to tightrope this. Oh, we certainly are. Nice. Right, I want that chest. Oh, we're going to Assassin's Creed this shit out of this. Right, we're risking it for a chocolate biscuit. <gasps> Press the wrong button. I pressed A to jump instead of B. What a dick. I was a bit too spunky for me on good day. Can I? You can't speed up that ass. Can you speed up this? No. It's a single speed that a uh, tight roll. Right. Right, I'm, I'm gonna do it this time. See ya! It doesn't work! Oh, when you... You can't run and jump. It's not a thing. It stops you mid-run when you press jump. This is this is not cool, bro. Is it even possible to make that jump? I'm feeling that it's kind of not. There's no other way out. Go, is there? Now nah, I've got to get across. There's the cat. I can see the bloody cat. Yes, we made it, baby. A mini medal. I need your cat. Cat's paw seems to be stuck in a hole in the roof. Do you want to help it? <laughs> nah, I want to let it rot. Nah. You help the little girl's cat go and tell her the good news. I'm a good lad. Now where are we? Hmm. Oh, there's some. Oh, there's a, a cupboard, and are we in like a wine cellar? It looks like it is. Right, where's the cat? Eh, hey, not the cat, the girl. Where is the little girl? There she is. She's loving it. You did it. You got Amelia off the roof. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, take this. Bag of kitty litter. If you got up on that roof, you can get onto others. You probably can even climb down chimneys. Okay. Right, so one of those buildings that we can't get in. So you have to go down the chimney. Right, that's good to know. So what I'm going to do is... Perfect timing. I want to save it at the, the church. And then next episode... We're going to go into the the rich part of town. Save baby. Da -da 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 -da. Right, so lads, hope you enjoyed the episode. What we've done so far is we got out of the sewers. Wait, they have success. Do you intend to con? Yes, I do. Just say that. Right. So we've escaped the sewers, got a lovely intro to the game, 
because obviously that's past the tutorial. We've met Eric, who's our brother from another mother, and now we're trying to get his red orb back, which he's, which he stole with his partner Dirk, and Dirk's now living it up big style in the, the noble quarter, and that's where we're going to sneak into next episode. See you there, lads. <laughs>